Wow, isn't this beautiful? If only I could do that. You know something, I could look up a tutorial in YouTube and, and set up a nice video. But, 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 what? W what do you mean there's no tutorials on how to use a MIDI visualizer? What the? I I'm just, I I'm just stunned in the lack of tutorials on, on these things. It's not rocket science, it's a MIDI visualizer. I mean, we have tutorials on how to make slime. There's even tutorials on YouTube how to make illegal substances. I don't know, I'm playing anything and you saying words. Thank you. But tutorial how to use a magic visualizer? Okay, that's just beyond human imagination. Well, people, buckle up because this is going to be a wild run on. Actually, no, it's pretty easy to make. Well, here we are in our beautiful, though, in this case, FL Studio. Yes, this is a uh, Nefel Studio only tutorial. Uh, I'm sorry, other those. I don't do miracles. I'm pretty sure the process is pretty similar. Well, once you have your song um, already finished, this is just a nice little song. I will put a, put the song at the end of the video, so you can see the results and. Um, Oh, the magic visualizer look nice and things. Let's start. It's really simple in FL Studio. The first thing you have to do is save as a new version because all the instruments, even the drums and stuff, are going to turn into, into MIDI, basically. There is not going to be any sound like in after the, this process. Alright. Let's have a new version. Now you have your new, new version. Then you are going to click here into tools macros and prepare for midi export uh, there's a warning says uh, we put the okay, k all right boom now all these files uh, this file the, the, the instruments and stuff uh, are going to turn into midi uh, they they are already midi they, there's no sound coming from them i want to show you real quick Once I press spacebar, no, no noise, no sound at all. It, it dies forever. But the instruments became maybe already. Uh, I kind of messed up here. Uh, to be honest, what you want to do is, if you have like layer enough instruments, you want to delete all things that are not layering you basically want to leave your chords and your melodies the drums uh, so the in the midi visualizer is not that full of things you want to keep things relatively simple and nice to read your melody your chords maybe some arpeggios are fine and uh, the drums Another instrument. Well, I already spoiled myself with, with this, but, but, but okay, it's whatever. You will hear the sound at the end of the video, anyways. Alright. Once everything is MIDI, you are going to export these projects. You're going to export and export as a MIDI file. So you save it as a MIDI. And this is gonna take a while, so I will see you once this is exported. Alright then, now we are going to download the MIDI visualizer. It's an, I choose this one called uh, MIDI Fall because I see a lot of people using it. You don't need to worry about uh, looking for this thing online. I will provide you with a drive link with all the files you need. You don't need to download this individually. But I'm still going to give you the direct link so you can download these things on your own. I'm still going to show you how to download these things anyways. So you scroll uh, all the way down in this page and you will find this thing that says download. The download button, uh, download the latest version of course. It's a github repository, you just go here and click in code and basically click in download zip. Oh yeah, this thing runs in like something called log which is like 
like a, a coding language for indie games or something. I don't know, we are going to download it just for the MIDI fall visualizer. You go to the log page and look up for the download button, that's all. That's all you need to do. So, once you download log, you are going to double click on it. But what is this? Uh, what is happening? Why? Where is the MIDI visualization? Well, um, you need to basically drag the MIDI fall program into the log fall. It's a mess. I'm going to show you instead of explaining things. You go where you download the MIDI fold. You basically want to look up for the MIDI fold folder and literally drag it into the log exe. You drag it, then the program starts. And here we are, people. Welcome to the MIDI fold visualizer. Now, this just looks like this. Uh, you basically want to mess around a lot and change things uh, just like the background. You can do whatever you want, it's highly customizable to be honest. But what is really important, uh, first of all, is uh, import the MIDI file, of course. So you are going to click here in this button that says playback, right? And there's a button to load the MIDI file. Just load the MIDI file and that's it. That's all the process. It's not complicated at all. By default, it's going to color all the MIDI in different colors. It's a pretty smart program. Oh yeah, don't worry if you use your piano. That's how these things work. For your music video, you just want to go into a video editor and put the music apart and add effects if you want. As I said before, this is highly customizable, you can do whatever you want, you can change the background, you can change the color of the notes, basically just play around a little bit and you can make a nice music video that actually looks kinda nice and not to rely on like the DAW basically the, because the DAW is convenient but doesn't look nice so I'm going to tweak this a little bit and I will see you when all that stuff is done alright people I tweak this a little bit I add a background change some notes or the colors the only thing to do now is export the video, so I'm going to hit this button that said uh, video export. Yes. And I'm going to export the video. What is this? Is, excuse me? If you not found what, what the f Luckily, I have a solution, don't worry about it. As I said, it's another download, it's just a codec that this piece of garbage needs in order to run. It's nothing complicated, I will show you the process, don't worry about it. So, you basically want to look up for this page, it's called guy and dot deb. You just need that codec, you don't need anything else in here. As I said before, all the files will be in a drive in a folder, basically. You don't need to worry about all this stuff. You download the latest version, of course. It will be on a folder called bin or something like that, I don't remember. You just need this first .exe, you don't need the other ones. The ffmpeg.exe uh, So, in order to export the MIDI file video you just need to copy and paste the ffmpeg.exe into the MIDI file folder where the MIDI file exe is that, that's all we hit export video and not even a second and it's exporting as intended and that's about it it's nothing complicated as, as i said before transition well guys this is the end of the tutorial i hope you liked it 
This is, as I said before, something I just made because there is no tutorial how to do this. I don't know why, I, I'm just speechless why there is no tutorial for this since it's just a simple process to be honest. But that's all for today folks. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned because I oddly to say that I make content, haha <laughs> yes content, M more content coming soon, yes. And that's about it, see ya. <laughs> and I don't end in the video this way. Until next time, take care and goodbye for now. Oh, and enjoy the song. <laughs>